everyone, welcome to Amina Jimo Show at Amina Jimo Foundation. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Itaye Gidi, La Bayern Dunia Nagaskia, Aku Kondum Madu, Real Life Story. I'll be reading you a true life story from the Amina Jimo Foundation and the Amina Jimo Show on our Facebook platform. It states the young man in this photo. This was a picture of him and the ex girlfriend and also the child. It was murdered by a woman that was said to be his ex-girlfriend she was married but he decided to continue the relationship with her and she introduced him to her husband and he moved into their home that they continued their wonderful moments and travel around together and even went to hajj together for umrah umrah is the lesser hajj that the muslims do go to Saudi Arabia that he had wanted an end to the unholy relationship because he wanted to settle down with another woman but she couldn't take that and she stabbed him now he has gone and the report before the police is that of business partners on inability to pay debt of 10 million naira after day husband and wife gave him something to pay back which he was unable to well dude took a costly risk with his life mixing up with his ex-girlfriend and getting entangled with her despite knowing that she is married to the point of squatting in her matrimonial home was an unfortunate situation he gambled with his life this kind of situation is rare in house land Perhaps Western lifestyle is eroding the tradition or traditional Hausa value system that a woman would introduce another man to her husband and boom, he is in their home. And behind the scene, knocking takes place. Knocking means fucking her. The ideal Hausa woman hardly have the courage to look at another man, but not any more due to iPhone generation and codeine. Some people even said he fathered her son, which belongs to her husband because of the striking resemblance. Ours is to pray for his soul and beg young men and women to learn from his story and sad end. We had a lot of comments down there. Adebite Ismail Adedure said, it is very sad indeed, but the man should have known that he is playing with the head of a cobra from the onset. He even have the gods to stay in the same house with X in her husband's house. It should be a lesson to those in the same situation that are still in sinful relationship with their ex when they are already married. Joseph Ugo stated, serves him right, stupid idiot. Sally Joy Lawal stated, hmm, such is life. He wasted his own life just like that. Zibu Abubakar, Zainab Abubakar stated, I watched the video where she was being interrogated. She didn't even show any sign of remorse, which made me to conclude that she must be on drugs. Hakim Kekere Ekun stated, the only lesson from here is to learn when to let go of something that is once yours. Once the button change hands, just let go. Mariam Abubakar stated, so sad. Abiodu Baba Lola stated, what is this world becoming? Bai. Haba. Haba means come on. Tinuke Balki said, so sad. Iman Hamida stated, hmm, such is life. Ali Olayinka Muhammad stated, well, this is a good story. I love it. And the highest of sea finish. Not enough that you seen my wife. You still park into my house. Welcome. Adenike Matthew stated, some people are saying the husband was under a spell. And I would agree with that. A typical house man would never accept a man introduced to him by his wife as a business partner into his home just like that and also allow them travel for business and religious trip together while he stays back 
This can't be ordinary. Oluwa Tomilara Omo Moses stated such a deadly risk. Well, you can't eat your cake and have it. May his soul be forgiven and rest well. Well, you all have heard everything that they had to say at the Amina Jimo Show and the Amina Jimo Foundation on our Facebook channel. Kindly put down your comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Also, my advice to you is we find out that lots of people these days feel like they have to live double lives. Some people are married and want to act single. That's the case. She was already married to another man. Unfortunately, she couldn't let go of the other guy who happened to be her ex-boyfriend and they continued their rubbish and they ended up putting it into another man's home. So that's the thing happening those days. A lot of, or would I say some married women and some married men do that. And also even the singles entangle themselves in being with married women these days or married um, uh, men. So if you're a part of the people who do this nonsense that say, oh, this person was my ex, we cannot be enemies. Why don't you marry your ex? Why do you have to be with someone else and then keep your madness going on? Sex is spiritual. I always say that. It's not just having sex for fun. Sometimes you're busy having sex with all those people and you do not know you're about to say kadara, kadara, the wealth and the goodness that you're supposed to have in your life will be going away because you're not even sure of who you're sleeping with. Maybe the other person had been, you know, going all around. Look at it now. The innocent husband might be 100% innocent. And another woman is busy knocking, fucking another ex in his home. So this is the thing. If you do want to remain single, remain single. Am I advising you to go around sleeping with people? No, that's not what I'm saying. However, if you will be in a relationship or you will be in a marriage, do not go in with the intention of bringing another side piece. That's the holy place. In the Bible, in the Quran, there is nowhere that states that when you're married, you should be having affairs with other people. So do respect people. You cannot eat your cake and have it. If you want to be single and doing your nonsense, stay single. However, do not get other people entangled to your madness. Adenike stated this might have to do with spiritual. I believe that. But she said, some people are saying the husband was under a spell. He, it might be. It might be. Things are happening. I want kaburukulon nisi. <laughs> when I say in Kaburukulon Shele, I put the net anyway. Abu Wa the Babu Kel, Niki for Ruayanzum. When look at Chizamu Chewe, Duka, when soon you see, I put the Siki Gundama. A man and come and see the Yakama, when the Namijin. She has had me get him, Yaka, my Duke Abunda, Kifarua, and cut him also on the repay. Or that did be as I seen what she see or coy into a bayney, coffee monk, Katun Shele. Tito Bashebe, allow sa, how sa o leva je ki o kun in sumo ya we. Debi pe koma ni she pe koma baya ure travel kakiri haba. So, when did I talk? Be say, even I say na true, say na jazz then jazz the, the husband because these days things they happen when me and you no know. Even be self no know say this thing where then they call jazz they in existence until when be say I open this my show now that time i know say aye day hmm i agree to now here i'm going to end it with just a few words of advice manik beko se ni tule mumi along way kanke che ko kanki che we bound the zik hamani alla na kalenki miko no so the thing why they talk be say make you no know, feel say person know they watch you Go they look you. I don't see people with my koro koro eye. We go they fast. We go they swear, say they no do something. Hmm. He talk with la. Now for my eye, person swear. Maybe say the person they fast. The person swear, say, in they swear, say no do so and so. Person na Muslim. He carry the Quran, carry everything. They read. But 
in the lie. That's why a lot of times they say you can go to the church and also go to the mocks and you find out that it's a lot of crazy people that are there that are not healed. They still are sick. Okay, so do not go to the church or mock with the intention of I'm going there to find correct people. Remember, the church and the mocks too are places that need to heal people that are sick. So, I would like to end it here today. Do not forget to subscribe to the Amin Ajimo Show YouTube channel. You can reach us on Facebook at Amin Ajimo Show and Amin Ajimo Foundation. You can also check on TikTok and Instagram and follow us on all the platforms. Thank you and God bless you. Have a good one. And I always appreciate having you here. And for those of you who have reached out saying you missed the, all the true life stories, we've been busy helping other people. We've been having uh, victims of domestic violence that we had to be hands on with. That's what I've been keeping us busy because we have to rescue those that we can rescue. Whoever is speaking out would get the help. So do not stay in a domestic violence relationship like we always say. Speak up. I love you and God bless you. Have a good one and uh, remain blessed. Just like a Lao Kera. Again, click on the red subscription button to subscribe to the Amina Jumon Show YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.